Hi, in this problem, we are told that we have a bucket. So this is the bucket. It's hoisted by the rope. This is the rope right here. That wraps around a drum wheel. So this is the drum wheel. If the angular displacement of the wheel is theta equal to 0.5 t to the power 3 plus 15 t radian. So here we have theta as a function of time or the angular displacement as a function of time equal to 0.5 t to the power 3 plus 15 t where t is in seconds determine the velocity and acceleration of the bucket so we want to know as this bucket moves up we want to know its velocity and we would like to know its acceleration when time equal three seconds so here time is equal to three seconds and this wheel uh, the this drum wheel its radius is 0 0.75 feet so here as the drum wheel rotates what we are interested in finding is the velocity and acceleration so that means if we assume let's say let's take a look at this point right here let's say point B so here we we will be interesting in finding the tangential velocity of this rotating drum wheel because that tangential velocity will be equivalent to the velocity of the bucket moving up in a similar fashion we know that in here we are asked to find the acceleration of the bucket uh, in rotating objects we have the, the acceleration have two components we have the tangential acceleration and we have the normal or centrifugal acceleration and by using head to tail fashion so this is your acceleration normal or tangential and you add to it your acceleration tangential it will give you your net acceleration of the drum wheel but in this problem we are asked to find the bucket so we will be interested in finding the acceleration the tangential acceleration in here so the question is how can we relate uh, acceleration tangential and velocity tangential to angular acceleration and angular uh, velocity all right so let's take a look at this uh, circle that represent the drum wheel and let me zoom into it and let's say uh, right here where where you're gonna have your position in the x direction and this one right here will be in your y direction so let's say we have here point a let's let's call it so theta one let's call it and then we moved a distant to position theta two so this one right here this distant this one right here will be your theta two and from here to here that will be your theta one all right and the distance between these two will be your delta theta so this one will be your delta theta so we know that the arc length if you want to find the arc length this one let's call it s it will be r times delta theta so this is our 
position s related to angular position theta 1 and theta 2 so here if we want to relate the uh, no, uh, linear velocity or curvilinear velocity or rectilinear velocity to the omega the angular velocity we know so here is our radius and this right here we said we call it velocity tangential right so now to relate this velocity let's go to the uh, position in here so if we delta s is equal to r times delta theta and delta s over delta t is velocity equal to radius this will be delta t and delta theta over delta t the change in angular momentum uh, sorry the change in angular position over time is angular velocity so here we found the relationship between velocity and the angular velocity the same thing we will do for acceleration so for angular acceleration this is our radius this will be our acceleration tangential so what is acceleration acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over change in time and we found that velocity is r times omega so delta r time sorry delta omega times r divided by delta t and change in angular velocity times time will give you what a tangential will equal to angular acceleration times r so these are the two equations that we need to use to find the velocity of the bucket and to find the acceleration of the bucket so what we will do in here is we would like to find the velocity tangential and acceleration tangential so here the radius we are given the radius in here we are also given and he, what we are asked to find now is to the angular velocity and angular acceleration we are given that theta as a function of time is equal to 0.5 t to the power 3 plus 15 t now we know that omega angular velocity is change in angular displacement over time equal to the sh this so that means we will take the, de the derivative of the angular displacement with respect to time to get the angular velocity 3 times 0.5 1.5 t plus 15 and we are asked to find the angular velocity at 3 seconds so 1.5 times 3 13.5 plus 15 is 28.5 28.5 radian per second so here we found the omega the angular velocity which is right here now let's take a look at the angular acceleration so angular acceleration is the change in angular velocity over time the angular velocity we found it to be 1.5 t plus 15 so we will take the derivative of this function with respect to time to get the angular acceleration and it will be one time it will be 1.5 sorry it will be 2 times 1.5 is 3 t uh, here i forgot to put the t to the power 2 uh, here 0 0.5 times t to the power 3 3 times 0.5 is 1.5 3 minus 1 is 2 so I forgot to put the 2 in here so this will so the angular acceleration at 3 seconds will be 
3 times 3 so the angular acceleration at 3 seconds will equal to 9 radian per second squared all right so here we found the angular acceleration so let's so let's see so velocity tangential will equal to what the radius is given to us as 0.5 feet times the angular acceleration we found it to be 28.5 28.5 radian per second so the velocity tangential in this case will be 21.375 feet per second and the same thing for a tangential the acceleration tangential will be the radius 0.5 0.75 times we found it to be 9 so tangential will be 6.75 feet per second thank you very much have a good one